what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk you know celebrity guys is a microcosm of what occurs in black America and people think that uh, there is no exclusive relationship between what goes on in the internet in real life but guys we, we find out that that is just completely not true and i can justify that statement by discussing one yaya mayweather now she is the daughter of floyd mayweather and of course you know she's weaving and sailing up and you know despite having everything in her life a very talented father even though he has a lot of kids and was not really maybe in her daily life she had everything that money could buy. Now, I don't know the stability of the mother, but obviously, you know, he was able to buy her nice stuff and send her to the best schools and things like that. But see, celebrity kids are just like them. So you can't take rich idiots and then you think that they're gonna become Harvard graduates. If the parents don't have a very strong interest in education and in, in and, and, and studying and intellectual abilities, their kids are gonna go ahead and make those same stupid ass choices that everybody else does. And in the case of Floyd Mayweather, he's a, he's a great work ethic, he's an excellent boxer, but his daughter, despite all of those privileges, wants to, wanted to get pregnant by NBA Youngboy, Mr. Pookie and Ray Ray of the year. Now, NBA Youngboy has, cannot be no longer older than 24, 23. The guy already has like six or seven baby mamas. And guess what? She knew that going into it. And Yaya represents uh, a great layer of women in our society, in our community, who have a lot of advantages going on in their life. They, some of them are pretty, very intelligent, smart, ambitious, and their path to success is imminent as long as they keep going on the route that they are traveling. Nevertheless, what do we see in black America that they will go out and defer to the Pookie and Ray Rayism? You see all the time at HBCUs, go to your black colleges, Alcorn State, Jackson State, and Grambling State and Howard. You know how many chicks have gotten pregnant by guys while they were in school, passing classes, doing well, and they dropped out to have a baby by a guy who's going to prison? It happens all the time. And you sit back and you wonder, how in the hell did she do that? It's, it was very easy, being stupid. And this is what you're going on with why I, yeah, yeah, I mean, with her right now. Everything going for in her life, no kids, and then you get pregnant by a guy who doesn't give a damn about you. Then to make it even worse, you stab his other baby mama in his house, got into legal trouble, he disowned you, disrespected Floyd Mayweather, then, you're out there on Instagram right now, threatening your friends who want to hook up with him behind your back, okay? And she wrote this, Thank music! So which one of y'all lame ass hoes want to own up trying to talk to my baby daddy? Better learn your friends before you think I'll blank, LOL, watch who you let on the jet with you, everybody ain't there. I don't understand what the hell you're talking about, boo. This is why I don't, some of these ladies when they be text messaging, do you guys actually listen to this shit or read it? See, here's the problem. You had a, a baby by a guy who don't give a damn about you. The reason why he don't give a damn about you is you don't give a damn about you. Because if you did, you wouldn't be his baby mama. But now you out here mad, more weaving, more sailing up, because you think that your, that your friends are gonna screw him. Well, see, dusty minds think alike, boo, because they're weaving and sailing up just like you, no standards, just like you. You goddamn right, they will sleep with NBA young boy. And do you know what? He will sleep with them right back. And so now you want somebody to have some standards and to be honorable to you when you're not even honorable to your goddamn self. Ain't that a bitch? I'm gonna say it again. You want somebody to have some honor and standards towards you when you don't even have no honor and standards towards yourself. And all the young ladies that hang around you probably don't have nothing to offer you, but you hanging out with them. And then you got this dude as your baby daddy. And then what makes it worse? 
is some of these ladies out here, because, you know, Kevin Samuels in the manosphere or either or will talk about ladies like this. And then when you come on and, and have a discussion about can you get a man, what will be the answer? Well, why I can't get a high value man? Because you're just not a high value person, boo. Look at, look at the decisions that you make. Then you'll be actually on dates bashing him about why he don't take care of his kids. Why he's not a good baby daddy. He's a bum. But you knew this in the beginning. You knew it. You knew it. You knew it. Everybody knew it. But this is what you're doing. Then you want somebody to feel sorry for your decisions. That's another thing, too. You know, I noticed about in black America with some of these young ladies out here is that there is actually no sympathy, no empathy for the things that black men go through at all. You know, at all. We're seeing that right now with the death of, of, of Kevin Samuels that, you know, you can just say whatever the hell you want and be out of pocket. And you can say, you can say things and wish many evil things on men. Um, and, 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 and men have to own that women can make all the bad decisions that they would like in our community. And, and by some small chance, people are supposed to feel sorry for them when these mistakes happen over and over and over again, for a select few that we're talking about here or a select many, depending on where you live. And the reality is, is that who wants to put up with this kind of stuff? And I mean, for many people in black America, Yaya Mayweather represents not a small, this is not a small portion of ladies in our society that act like her. You are asking these eligible black men that have no kids. Most of them guys that you may not, you may have passed up on. You're, you're wanting them to not go out there and deal with other groups of ladies and to stay home and put up with this. So, okay. So if you go to the white collars, don't get with the white girl because you're a sellout. You know, she's a Becky and you know, this all that and the third and you know, you should not deal with women in the, in, in the black community, maybe in the, you know, in the black diaspora, you know, you get your woman from Ghana, Nigeria, Ethiopia. No, 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 no. Stay home and deal with the, you know, with the African American, the black American, the ADOS ladies, uh, who have this sort of issue or even women that are, have been born and raised in America, the Caribbeans and all that other stuff. And then the answer is a resounding no, no, no. Nobody wants to put up with somebody like Yaya Mayweather. For those people who have this kind of situation going on, like who wants to, okay, your baby daddy did what now? No, stop, I'm sorry, I gotta go. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out.